Hey, what's up, you guys? Say, I'm going to show you how to get your service work, your internet and data working on an iPhone 5, or this is for pretty much any iPhone that you may have if you uh, swapped out your SIM well, change your phone. Like, I went from an iPhone 4 to an iPhone 5, cut down the SIM from a micro to a nano and discovered data was not working, looked it up, and turns out that the APN settings no longer really work. So, this sucked because I had Straight Talk for almost two years using my iPhone 4, had a profile installed from the day I got it, working great, just to find out it was no longer working. So, what I'm going to do is show you how to get it working. So you're going to go to Safari, and you're going to go to on locket.co.nz hit go then you're going to go to create APM APN, my bad country is United States if you are in the United States and you're going to go to AT&T MVNO make sure that it is the one that just says MVNO not the with proxy one and hit go create and then you're just going to hit install. I'm not going to hit install because I already have it on there. So you just hit install and it will install. And then you'll notice after it installs, it gives you a little unlockit.co.nz. Uh, you can delete it if you want. I was actually having a little bit of difficulties after I deleted it. Don't know why. So I'm just going to leave it. Whatever. Let me just show you real quick. Sorry about the crappy quality. Really need to get a new camera. And then you can see right here installed. Oh, wait, hold on cancel what the f settings come on now there we go profile right there apn carrier for from unlockit.co.nz let me just go back and cellular data is on i don't have the L lte enabled right now just because i've been reading that it does cause some problems with uh, data issues and speed and all that. I'm going to do tests tomorrow, find out everything. And you can check it out on my blog at ima-flork.blogspot.com and I will update you. But let's go back, turn off the Wi-Fi, turn off the Wi-Fi, thank you. And then you'll notice it says 4G, so we'll go back to Safari. And let's just go to Google, and bam, there it is, Google loads fast as hell. So let's try another one, let's just go to YouTube, and there it is. Just like that. And now your data is working. Uh, I searched the net for about two hours until I found this. Thank goodness I found it, because now my iPhone 5 is up and running functional. If I can get the uh, MMS working so you can send pictures, I will do a video on that. But I'm pretty sure you need to be jailbreaking to do that, and there is no jailbreak for iOS 7 yet. Alright guys, uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. Alright you guys, you have a good one.